All right, this breaking news uh, for you right now. A group of supporters of former Brazilian President Bolsonaro have breached security barriers and broken into the Brazilian Supreme Court, the Presidential Palace, and Congress. CNN's Rafael Romo is here with more on this. So what do we know about the situation? Yeah, Fred, it's looking more and more like what happened here in the United States on January 6, two years ago. Mm -hmm. And what happened was that earlier a group of supporters of former President Jair Bolsonaro managed uh, to breach the barriers established uh, by authorities at the congressional building uh, in Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. It seems to be at this point a situation where uh, there were so many people that they were able to outnumber uh, the police that were there. and the. We are getting reports that people were able to get all the way into the congressional building and that the few uh, public employees that were there were being threatened if they were uh, if, if they tried to stop those people from getting in there. We're looking at these images coming to us from Brasilia right now. What's going on? Well, the, the Congress is not in session, so there aren't any uh, members of Congress that are uh, at pr presently in danger. The president of Brazil, the current president, the new president, Luis Inácio Lula da Silva, is mm -hmm. a Sao Paulo state, so he's not anywhere near this place. But we also understand, Fred, and this is also very concerning, mm -hmm. that protesters have also breached the building of Brazil's uh, Supreme Court. So it's not only the congressional bil building, but also uh, the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, the former president, the man that these protesters are supporting, is here in the United States, Fred, in Florida. Uh, he left the country, uh, as a matter of fact, before mm. his successor uh, took office. And he's in Florida right now. We do not know uh, who these protesters are uh, answering to or who organized uh, this protest. But again, it looks very, very close to what happened in the United States on January 6th.